This video is about the basics of exercise therapy. You might have heard or even done push-ups, squats, bicep curls, etc. for recreation of a bodybuilding. But when the exercises are done clinically for treatment, it is called exercise therapy and it is done for three major purposes. First is to promote activity and reduce amount of inactivity. Second is to strengthen weak muscles the muscles with repeated activity become more stronger third is to increase range of motion of the joints now there are two components of exercises posture and movement posture is the beginning and the ending of the exercise and movement is the process between beginning and ending For example during push up this is the beginning and the ending of the exercise and what you do in between that is lowering down your body to the ground then rising up then lowering down then rising up is the movement we will look more deeper into movement it is of two types active movement and passive movement Active movement is performed by own capacity through muscle contraction. For example, in this image the lady is able to lift her leg up through her own capacity without the help of external source. Passive movement is performed with the help of external source. For example, in this image a physiotherapist is helping the person to lift the leg up. Active movement plays a major role in our life be it walking or picking things up etc so we will look more deeper into active movement active movements are of two types voluntary and involuntary voluntary movements are in our control involuntary movements are not in our control example reflex Voluntary movements are classified into four types of exercises: assisted exercise, free exercise, assisted resisted exercise and resisted exercise. Assisted exercise is when the muscle action is insufficient to bring out the desired movement and an external force helps in it. two things should be kept in mind first is the external force should only augment the movement and not substitute the action of muscle second is as the power of muscle increases the assistance must decrease the effects and uses are there will be production of movement which they are incapable of achieving the memory of pattern of coordinated movement is stimulated by the correct performance and patient's confidence is increased free exercises are those which are performed by patients own muscular efforts without assistance or resistance except gravity acting on it The advantage of free exercise is that it helps in maintaining range of motion by patient itself without relying on others. The disadvantage is that it makes insufficient demand on neuromuscular system so redevelopment of weak muscles is slow. Free exercises can be either localized that is to provide specific effects at a particular joint to strengthen particular muscle groups or it can be general that involves effects at many joints and muscles of the body the effects of free exercises are the rhythmic swinging movements helps in relaxation of hypotonic muscles normal rom is maintained by exercises performed in full range muscle power and tone is maintained neuromuscular coordination is improved by repetition of exercises and the patient's confidence is improved assisted resisted exercise constitutes of a combination of resistance and assistance provided during a single movement 
Resisted exercise is when external force is applied against the force of muscle contraction to increase the muscle power and hypertrophy. This resisting force is other than that provided by gravity and friction. That is, it can be provided by physiotherapist, weights, pulleys, springs, water. The effects of resistance exercises are muscle power is increased, blood flow to working muscle is increased, there will be general rise in blood pressure and heat is produced as a result of strenuous muscular activity. To bring out improvement in the grades, these exercises are prescribed. So, the summary is given here.